Good morning, hunties and hunkers. Okay, we're gonna have a great day today in the A because last night was a nightmare. I'm not even gonna front, but I'm not gonna allow the negative energy of other people to exude my peace. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Anyways, you guys, I've been on my weight loss journey all year. I keep falling off, okay? Life keeps taking a toll on me. The hardships in your girl's life has taken a toll on me, and I handle those situations by eating a lot of food, a lot of good food. And I keep telling myself, okay girl, you need to lose weight. Like, you are not comfortable and confident whenever you look in the mirror. And sometimes I look in the mirror and I just don't recognize myself. I cry because I just feel like I'm looking at somebody else. It's not me that I'm looking at and I feel very insecure <sighs> about, I feel insecure about how much weight I've gained to be honest. But anyways, I'm gonna start this weight loss journey once and for all. Like I'm happy with my midsection because I waist train every single day. So my midsection is good, but it's my arms that I'm so uncomfortable with and it's my thighs. My thighs are huge and especially my face. You know, I just need to and tone up. I need to start taking my health and fitness more seriously because I'm not getting any younger. I'm getting older and you know when you get older it's harder to lose the weight so I really have to focus and I have to change my entire life. Even stress you know makes you gain weight. I've been trying to meditate daily but um, it has been a struggle to be honest because I have been you know going through so much bullshit like yesterday was so crazy i don't want to talk about any of that stuff on my platform y'all can continue to use my name for clout and that's it i am about to weigh myself because we need to start showing action and not doing all this chirping because i've been doing a lot of chirping lately to myself i'd be like okay girl we're about to eat a healthy lunch okay bring on the salmon bring on the salad you know what i'm saying with a side of veggie and then i'm over here at chick-fil-a drive-thru spicy chicken sandwich with a side of waffle fries okay you guys need to hold me accountable don't mind my toes i have to go get them done okay so I'm 152. Let me zoom out. Hold on. Close, close. I'm 152 and my goal is 130. Now, a lot of my friends and family have been saying 130 is too small, but I've been 130 my entire 20s. So I want to get back to 130. Now, if I feel like, okay, girl, you look good at 135, maybe I'll stay there. But um, I just need to lose this weight okay i've been losing i was actually 160 like a few weeks ago now i'm at 152 so i've been losing weight slowly but surely anyways i'm about to quickly do a light beat you guys need to be higher i left my tripod in the camera no i left my tripod in the car what am i talking about right now you guys are on a candle okay so I need a mirror that's closer. One second. I'll be back. Don't miss me too much. My girl Dominique put me on to this eyebrow pencil. It has a spoolie on the end of it and it's by Milani. It's a drugstore brand. Yeah, it's a drugstore brand and um, it's called Easy Brow and it's in dark brown and it's so good. So I'm just going to go ahead. Oh my gosh. Is it broken? My whole life is broken. It's just all broken. Okay, so I'm gonna comb up my eyebrows with the spoolie. Now I need to get them done. I need to go get them threaded, but I just haven't found the time for, you know, self-care. So what I usually do is I outline my eyebrow to give it shape. So I'm just gonna go ahead and outline it just like so. So I outline the bottom. I line the bottom. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and Line the top of my brow and then the tail. Fill in all of the areas that look hairless, okay? <laughs> 
so i'm just gonna fill that in right now i do it lightly in the front because i don't want my eyebrows to look like i put them on with sharpie i take my spoolie and i push the product up into my brow so i just push it up just like so okay and then i just do my touch-ups so just the areas that look like they're hairless but you don't want to do too much because you still want them to look natural now i love my brows Thick. my girl the other day was like girl you need to wax off those eyebrows they are too bushy but i'm like girl you look like you chew on your eyebrows with a pen literally a pen not even a pencil okay don't even play me i, wanna... I like what i like okay next brow now i don't know where my concealer brush went one of these kids probably has it in one of these toy boxes I feel like they always find my stuff I put it high all the time and something always goes missing every single day in this house the main things that go missing in my house are chargers look at my eyebrows cute right so I'm here drinking my water all I do is drink my alkaline water all day every day that's one thing that I do that's so healthy is drink my alkaline water I drink about Four of these every single day and one of these is one liter this is so hydrating obviously it's water but what I love about alkaline water is it detoxes your body it removes bad toxins and it's an antioxidant so yeah it's so good for you drink your water hunting so I use Clinique stay matte oil-free makeup foundation i love this stuff so much a little goes a long way and it lasts all day and it's oil free which i love because i have oily skin around my t-zone so my skin doesn't get i mean it gets oily throughout the day obviously so you have to touch it up with a translucent powder but it doesn't get oily so soon it takes about a few hours for it to get oily and this is in the color golden i'm about to do some eyeshadow. Oh, hi. Hi. Hi, everyone. Hey, Crystal. What are you doing? I came to get the towels and the washcloths to wash them. So, yeah. As you guys know, Crystal is my sister wife. No matter who I'm with, <laughs> I could be by myself. And she's still my sister wife. So, right now, she is... First of all, she came to Atlanta to assist me. I've been going through a lot. And it's hard for me to keep up with laundry. So, Crystal is tackling the laundry. She's helping me with the kids. She's just helping around the house, cooking, cleaning, and her services are greatly appreciated around here. You're welcome. Thank you. And she does it out of love, out of the kindness of her own heart. Um, oh, your food is ready, by the way, if you're hungry. Or if so. Okay, so first of all, I'm not buying your flight home. Why not? You can't leave. <laughs> to go back to my job. No, you cannot leave. Although I did bring my work laptop here. Love you. I love you too. I love you still. Oh! Are you okay? Oh, Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. Want me to pray for you? No, it's okay. Okay. Whew. So, um, Crystal? Yes. Um, a few vlogs ago, people said that it was completely boring and they missed the old vlogs, right? So, it didn't really discourage me because I know it was a boring vlog because a lot of the times when I feel like I'm rushed doing brand deals and something needs to be posted like right then and there, I quickly create content and that's the truth, you know? Well, it's boring. Like things can't be rah, rah, rah all the time. Yeah, but I'm a rah, rah, rah all the time kind of person, am I not? Yeah, but like things have ebb and flow, so you were just ebbing, not flowing. <laughs> so what do you think? Should I continue creating vlogs like do you guys enjoy the vlogs or do you guys want to see something totally different comment below like what do you think they want to see i just feel like your life is going through transition transition doesn't interest people which i think is strange because i want to see the journey yeah like to me a real like hunty would want to see the journey right that's what it's been and to me if someone's was drama all the time, I would think it was fake. Yeah, I don't want to live my life like that either. A lot of people, they have to do drama to get views and stuff, and that's not where I'm at in life yeah. right now. 
and at all like i don't want to be there it's negative i don't want to come from a negative place every day of my life because it's actually not negative like sometimes like, dramatic things happen yeah in life but sometimes non-dramatic things happen. right it just happens naturally i'm just not gonna force it i can create so much drama and of course it will get views but i don't I even want think we to. need to create drama literally drama just happens yeah it just happens <laughs> like i where was i so remembrance day which i think down here is veterans day mm -hmm. i had the day off mm -hmm. and milan called me to tell me about what was happening at auntie jillian's house oh my gosh and like tell them what happened at auntie jillian's house she already posted about it so basically she's getting construction done and there was a worker who um i'm not sure if like the machinery malfunctioned or what happened but he sawed through the top of his leg yeah and like enough that he through needed an artery. major surgery mm -hmm. he yeah it was through his femoral artery yeah. which is a major artery mm -hmm. and if it's not fixed within like five to ten minutes you bleed out and die yo when Auntie julian called me freaking out she was and she, she lost it I had to calm her down that entire time. I have literally never seen so much blood in my life. Never. And I took anatomy in university. Like yeah. it was like it a pool looked, of blood it looked on like the someone, stairs, just dripping down yeah, the stairs. Yeah, it looked like and, someone threw a can of paint down the stairs. Literally. Was, uh, yeah. And so the manager of the company came over and she ended up being a hunty. And it was, really? Yeah. And it was funny because she like, like I get it, people think we fabricate drama and I was like, does this look fabricated? Right. right. literally I was in my room watching Judge Judy with popcorn <laughs> and somebody <laughs> called me to come do this. Like, <laughs> I thought I was going to enjoy my old lady day off, but no. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my gosh. It like, does John follow us? It literally does. Yeah. Like, I feel like my house is like a sanctuary yeah so i just have like peaceful moments and the minute i step outside it's mad chaos yeah <laughs> after the pandemic just chaos has been happening Always. in everybody's life it's crazy has your life been the same just like chaotic randomly no. comment below it's, it's so weird i like, know <laughs> my costco size gel that's funny where are you going by the way oh i'm going for dinner what yeah. I told you that the first thing I want to do is go for dinner here. Oh, first of all, <laughs> Slick is taking me to dinner at his studio. It's like not even a... Hello, Hunkles and Hunkles. Say hi, Aya. No. She has a little attitude, you guys. Look at her. Yeah, she was not having it at the house. Feeling the nanny today. Cat. Yeah? Cat. You hear a cat? Cat. You do? Cat. Anyways, Aya and I were in the area. So I wanted to show you guys my studio space and I'm so excited about this project. Now this space right now is junky. It's a construction site. So just be mindful of that. But I just wanted to show you guys my vision. You know, I'm not going to tell you everything because I want it to be a surprise. But it's going to be a space where everybody can use like if you create content you'll be able to use it so on the main floor i am going to i don't want to say what i'm going to do don't say it okay just look at the depth first of all it's a huge space as i said it's junky in here but in a few months it will be like something you've never seen before. We already have a psych wall, so if you wanna come in and take pictures, we're working on a crispy white kitchen. They're putting in the countertops next week. It's so pretty, I love it. And I love that I have huge windows, so we get a lot of natural light here. I'm working on a display window for Leisure Forever products. So you'll be able to see all the products that I have in stock. And we're also gonna put glass in the front. It's going to be so cool. And we might use mannequins to display the products. Unless Aya wants to be a mannequin in the yeah. window. Ow! Unless you wanna be a mannequin for Leisure Forever, we'll put you in the window. It's a makeup room in there, which it's junky, so I'm not gonna go in there, okay? A makeup room so you can get your makeup slayed, your hair done because we have a nice makeup room. 
and we're working on that. Okay, so this area is my office for Leisure Forever. So my staff will be here working in the Leisure Forever office. I love that it's so open and the natural light, like there's no lights on at all here. It's all natural light from the windows. We already have the chandelier installed. Now, most definitely this red wall has to go. I'm thinking about painting it nude and having the Legion Forever logo in black on top. I will take you guys along on that journey with us. This is going to be a whole process. So I'm excited because you guys get to create with us. This area? First of all, look at the space and lighting in this area. So guys, we already have the hardwood floor for the office. About a few weeks ago, I showed you guys some hardwood floor and I had you help me select a style and this is what we came up with and I'm so excited to lay it down. I love that the wood is so light and I picked light wood because I want everything to feel just light, open, and airy. Well, it's not hardwood floors, you guys. It's laminate because save money. Hashtag save money. Maybe you guys can suggest some ideas in the comment section below and let me know where you guys see. I don't know. Every other room in here, I'm like, okay, I know I'm gonna put here. I know I'm gonna put here. But there's this huge open space and I don't know what to put here. Maybe a sitting area, a lounge maybe different scenes to create content i don't know anyways you guys i hope you enjoyed the tour of my studio space when it's complete you guys will be able to come over and hang out with us and use the space what you don't tell me to stop you'll be able to come over and use this space for anything that you're working on you want food yeah me too let's go get some food okay love you give me kisses love you He's so cute. Okay, let's go, guys. Let's go get food. What, what do you want to eat? Hmm? Eat. A fries? Fine. A hamburger? Yes. Water. Chick oh, water? Yes. Oh, water. chicken tenders? <laughs> Pizza? Everything unhealthy? Yes! Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm back at the house and Zane wanted me to Make pizza. pick and him up some pizza dough. I don't know what I'm doing about He does not know what he's doing, but it's fine. Get creative. He's making pizza for the by family himself. by himself, exactly. Yeah, so, what do you know? yes, you do. You know that we have to roll it since we don't have a roller, we're using a water bottle. So, roll it down. What else do we have? We have turkey pepperoni. And we have some cheese. mozzarella cheese. Yeah, good job. And then what else do we have, Zane? Yeah, sauce. Yes, good job. Pizza sauce. Pizza sauce. Sometimes you can call it sauce. <laughs> I'm a big chef. Yep, he is a chef. He loves to cook. What? What do you want for Christmas, baby? Guitar, even. Even what? Go kart. And a go kart? Okay. And what about a chef hat to wear on your go kart so you can yes. deliver pizza? Yeah. Homemade pizza, zany pizza. And, and, you know, like, like when you order a pizza and 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 you get a box and can obviously we can get that. Yeah, a pizza box. Yeah. So it doesn't have to be a round pizza. We can do a rectangle pizza. Oh, it feels so mushy. And we can do some. And we can do some shape pizza. Yeah, shapes. Yeah. We, you know what it feels like? Yeah. It feels like marshmallow. It's, if to me, it feels like Play-Doh. Yeah, and Play-Doh and swine. Yeah. It smells so good. Too bad yeah. I can't eat it. Yes, you can for everyone. <laughs> I just, I, I it's make It's not it. for mommy's belly. Trust me, Zane. Trust me. Mommy, don't even have a baby in your tummy. The baby already came out. Okay, good job, Dean. <laughs> <laughs> I love doing this. I love making pizza a lot. I'm good chef. You are. Even I need this. Even, even need a hat. Even. Good job, Zane. Mmm. <laughs> Smells so good. 
You gotta make the table nice and clean so you don't have to clean it after we're done. Okay, baby. Yeah, we clean, clean as we go, right? Clean up, clean up. Everyone, show your shit. Clean up, clean up. Everyone, do your share. Yes, everybody, do your share. <laughs> That's I love it. that kid. He's so cute. Mommy. Everybody do your share. <laughs> you gotta do your share. <laughs> Good and job. And after this, gotta put it in the oven. Yes, we are. Be oh, after you put the pepperoni in. Yeah. Can I help you? Please, please. <laughs> look. Look at this money face, Jane. <laughs> like it? Yeah. Now we need to know. Okay. Good job. Is it ready to go in the oven now, Zane? Mm. Or do you want some more pepperoni on there? We need more pepperoni, Mom. Okay, put some more. We gotta take more because we gotta cover this, this part too. Okay. Yeah, so, 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 wait, so I'm gonna give it to you. This part? Yeah, don't drop you it. Drop and then you're gonna come close here and then you're gonna hand it to me. Good job, because it's hot, okay? Mm. So you have to be very careful. Good job, Zane. And then you can help mommy close, close the door. Now we're going to have to flip. It's oh. actually, yeah, we already pre Twist lit, it. preheat the oven. You, um, that's it? Yep, good job. My turn. Your turn. turn. Oh, you're doing the, is it called the shoot? No. What is it called? It actually is a shoot. Hey, are you sure? Yeah. Hey. I was all, no, this is the sun. I don't find a lolly lolly look. It's a whole, it's, 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 um, it's like a old song. Oh, it is an old song, yeah. You need to get, get up to the times, okay? You yeah, now you, your yeah, turn. Okay, my turn, okay, um. Because we made up the game. What am I doing? Laying down. Being a snowflake. Yes, I'm making a snow <laughs> what? A snow angel. Um. I like it. I uh, I don't know about the inside. I but I like the sauce. What? It's like not too good, but like good. I like the I love it so much. I love the pepperoni. So good. Um, that's what I like. um, and yeah. So I give it a five out of no. Okay, that's pretty good. What about you? Is it good? With your little Jackson 5 fro? Is it yummy, Aya? You want a fork? I already got a fork. Hey, hunties. Okay, so we're in front of the fireplace because we are working with Target and the Lego collection on a limited edition collection. They have toys, apparel, home decor, and I'm excited to be working with Target. They're one of my favorite department stores to shop at so I'm excited for this campaign so right now we're taking a photo for Instagram hey you guys <laughs> this is how family photos is behind the scenes trust me it's not easy <laughs> say Coco Melon we might have to do it without her after Christmas when Christmas done can you buy me headphones <laughs> yes I will, you can put it on your Christmas wish list. Okay. Okay. Can you buy me it? You might get them for Christmas. Yes! <laughs> I love you. I love you so much. Love you. You're the sweetest boy. Oh, I thank God for you every day. Bye, guys. See you later. Yes. <laughs> bye, bye. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> You're so cute. Good job, Dean. Awesome.